On May 22, 2018, the U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission CFTC, issued an advisory statement for listing virtual currency derivative products. The statement is aimed at providing clarity for exchanges and clearing houses. Previously this week, Major U.S. cryptocurrency exchange and wallet Coinbase spoke to regulators about obtaining a federal banking charter. Those events came in the midst of uncertainty regarding the status of crypto in the U.S. as federal regulatory bodies still haven't come up with one definitive scheme to regulate Bitcoin. Altcoins and Initial Coin Offerings ICOs. There are currently a number of federal regulators involved in crypto, and all of those bodies view cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin differently, defining it as a security, money, property or a commodity. Furthermore, on a state-to-state -state level, some additional regulations may apply, with the absence of one definitive regulatory framework at the federal level, cryptocurrencies in the country fall into various categories, all of which must be considered. In the U.S., Congress holds supreme power over federal regulatory agencies such as the CFTC and the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, enforcing them to comply with the laws it issues. Now that Congress is silent on the matter, each regulatory agency views cryptocurrency from its perspective, which is why it's possible for different agencies to claim concurrent authority over the same actions. This means that U.S. citizens must abide by the existing regulatory schemes of all the various agencies, even if they conflict. The SEC fights against ICOs and leans towards a balanced approach. The SEC, which regulates securities transactions, mostly considers crypto as securities. According to the 70-year-old Howey test, which the SEC applies to determine the purview of its jurisdiction, a security involves the investment of money in a common enterprise in which the investor expects profits primarily from others' efforts. Last year, the agency issued a marker opinion on digital assets, claiming that ICOs can sometimes be considered securities and therefore are subject to strict laws and regulations. Recently, the SEC elaborated on its views regarding crypto and said that it is looking to apply securities laws to everything from cryptocurrency exchanges to wallets. ICOs appear to be the agency's primary focus, as in February 2018 the SEC came through with a sweeping probe, issuing subpoenas to shut down a number of unregistered securities among ICOs. Prior to that, SEC Chairman Jay Clayton accused many promoters of ICOs and cryptocurrencies of not complying with securities laws. Whilst he previously recognized ICOs as potentially efficient fundraising tools in the op-ed published by the Wall Street Journal, Clayton also warned that the SEC will vigorously pursue those who seek to evade the registration disclosure and anti-fraud requirements of our securities laws. In a hearing at the U.S. House of Representatives in April, William Hinman, the director of the SEC's Division of Corporation Finance, explained why his agency had not completely banned ICOs, hinting that the SEC leans towards a balanced approach regarding digital assets and coin offerings and that the area that continues to evolve. Hinman also followed previous comments from Clayton that most ICOs should be considered securities. According to Hinman, the SEC would be consulting with entities releasing tokens to verify that the offerings were either regulated or not qualified as securities.
When asked if he could think of an instance in which an ICO would not be seen as the offering of a security, Hinman replied, in theory, there is a time when a coin may achieve a sort of decentralized utility in the marketplace. There are some coins where you wouldn't have an issue or to regulate. In theory, there may be coins where that lack of a central actor would make it difficult to regulate as a securities offering. Recently, SEC Commissioner Robert Jackson called the ICO market a prime example of an unregulated securities market in an interview with CNBC. If you want to know what our markets would look like with no securities regulation, what it would look like if the SEC didn't do its job? The answer is the ICO market. Jackson also said that he hasn't yet seen an ICO that wasn't a security and currently, there are no ICOs that registered with the SEC. However, in early March, the Praetorian Group filed with the agency to register their ICO as a security offering. If their application is accepted, they will become the first company to hold an SEC-regulated ICO. Thank you for listen to my channel. Please subscribe for get hot news in the world.